All right, that one jumped right out. That means he is ready. Good, solid piece of meat here. There is blood flow. Oh, oh okay, I let go. Ah, oh, no, no, it's, it went for another bite. It went for another bite. Ah, it's really latched on. Now, before we sit down and watch the sea lamprey enjoy an all-you-can-eat Coyote Peterson buffet, first it's important for you to understand how these alien-like invaders managed to create such a catastrophic stronghold on the Great Lakes ecosystem. These parasitic predators have a rather simple, yet well-structured life cycle. During the spawning phase, adults leave the lakes and migrate into streams build crescent-shaped rocky nests, lay eggs, and then die. After the eggs hatch, the larvae drift out of the nest and find areas of soft sediment in the river bottom. They burrow in and enjoy a hidden life for several years. Once ready, the larvae transform into parasites, complete with suction cup mouths, hooked teeth, and a voracious appetite. Then they swim to the lake and feast on fish for 12 to 18 months until they are ready to spawn. Females can lay nearly 100,000 eggs, so it's easy to understand how the invasion happened. Yet within this simple life structure, there's also a kink in the lamprey's invasive armor. More on that shortly, as it sounds like the dinner bell is ringing. Okay, this is part two of our eaten alive by sea lamprey experiment. And this is what we call inducing a suction. Now for this part of the experiment to be effective, I'm actually gonna bring in the assistance of Dr. Aldeboa. He's gonna be the one actually administering the suction by placing a sea lamprey on three different spots of my body. My forearm, my stomach, and dare I say it, my neck. Now, to truly determine whether or not sea lamprey will feast upon the blood of humans, this is the best way to figure out whether or not I can become a buffet line. If you're wondering whether or not I'm nervous, yeah, this is the part that definitely has my heart racing and my adrenaline pumping. They are gonna suction on. I am going to feel the wrath of that raspy tongue, and there very well may be some blood. So at this point, I think if you guys are ready, it's time to let the feeding frenzy begin. Dr. Aldeboa, pick us out a very hungry sea lamprey. My forearm, my poor forearm, is ready. Sit back and relax, buddy. I almost feel like I'm about to give blood, and in a sense, I am. My own blood in the name of science to determine whether or not these creatures will feast upon humans. All right, that one jumped right out. That means he is ready. Okay. All right, what I'm gonna do is place my forearm out like this. Stay. They are wily. Okay. okay, now what's gonna happen is Mara is gonna place it right on my forearm. You know, good solid piece of meat here. There is blood flow. And that mouth is, oh yeah, there we go, right Suction. there. Suction. Oh! It is on. Oh yeah! Ah, 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 ah. Oh wow, wow, that is a powerful suction. The suction power in the mouth of this creature is about four times that of your normal home vacuum cleaner. What it's doing right now is just investigating around with those jawless lips. It's called a suctorial disc. Ooh, he's got a hold there. Now the mouth is rather malleable and in that mouth are around 150 cone shaped teeth. They use those teeth to lock into place. Now typically they're feasting upon fish. When they grab onto that fish, remember fish is slimy. You've got to get good purchase if you're hoping to hold on and then eventually allowing that raspy tongue, which works almost like a boring drill to work through the scales and the skin of the fish before they get down. Oh, wow, that is a crazy feeling. Oh, I can feel it definitely grinding away at my skin. <sighs> oh, starting to notice a little bit of pain now at this point. Okay, so as they rip through the scales, ah, and the flesh of the fish, eventually an anticoagulant that they release from their saliva allows them to slurp down the blood and the bodily fluid. Oh, wow, I can definitely feel something going to town there. Similar to the leeches, I can feel that tongue working around ah, on my skin. 
and the suction, my goodness, I would say that's more powerful than four times a vacuum cleaner. It is pulling my skin up and into its mouth. Yowzers, okay, mm, that is an uncomfortable feeling. Now, the difference between the lamprey and a leech is that the leech had these little jaws that were kind of in the shape of the Mercedes Benz logo that would slice into your body. Of course, that anticoagulant and the numbing agent didn't allow me to feel anything. I don't think that there's a numbing agent that's being involved in the grasp of the lamprey. Yeah, wow, it is really, ah! It is really, really digging in at this point. Ooh, yeah. Something's happening. Oh, 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 oh. Ah. Ah. Wow, that suction is unreal. Oh. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. Yep, something's happening. Something is definitely happening. Oh, it's grasping down tighter. Now, what's interesting about the teeth? Ah, okay, it let go. It let go. So I want to get a good look at Yowzers. That, ah, oh, man, that just makes my whole body squirm. And when that thing pops off, it's like a really strong suction cup just coming off of my arm. Look at the way that the teeth curved into my skin and suction on. You can see where those jawless lips were locked in place. And right there is where all of those teeth were digging in. You can see the purple coloration in my skin. And honestly, just a little bit of blood seeping through right at that spot. Now, with my forearm, I have to think that that skin is pretty tough. There's a lot of muscle here and it's very solid. There's not necessarily, you know, like a fish. A fish's body has organs and soft spots and those lamprey are really gonna try to hone in on an area that they can easily dig into. My forearm, not exactly giving the best opportunity to dig in. I felt the effects, but I think it's time to step up to the next level I'll let one of these lamprey adhere to my stomach. All right, Mar, are you ready? I'm going to lift up my shirt and expose a nice, soft section of flesh. Very soft, good, squishy area. You ready? For one of these to be able to grab on and create suction. Okay, let's let him find his target. He's trying to suction up to me. Ah! Ugh. Hey, this is going right through the glove. Oh, okay. Okay. Let him twist his head. He's good? I think he's, ah! Yeah! Ooh. That's pretty good. Whoa. He's oh! He's on. Oh yeah. That is definitely a oh, much different feeling than the forearm. Uh, the skin on my belly is much softer. And that suction is going, oh, going to town right now. I envy all those teeth. Yeah, digging in, oh, the twist is tough. Now, when these creatures are out in the environment, ah, oh, look at that, it came off. Oh, that's good suction right there. Oh, oh wow, yeah, I could definitely feel the teeth digging in. And it almost feels like that tongue starting to rasp around. Oh, that makes your skin crawl. Ah, uh, okay. Mm. Probably approaching the 60 second mark here with this creeper, true creepy slime monster, suctioned on. Oh, okay, just embrace it. Now, it's not so much painful as it is like a pressure, a real strong suction, and just that really creepy feeling that, wow, is this thing actually, oh, 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 is, okay. I think it, let go? No, on. no, he just picked on. a different spot. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's an even better hold right there. I think he repositioned and said, ooh, you know what? This spot's even softer and maybe even tastier. Real question is, will it begin to have a feeding response and actually try to eat me? Remember, it's not going after my organs. It's not trying to burrow inside me. What they do is remove the skin and the flesh of the fish so that they can get down to the blood and the bodily fluids. Oh, okay, oh. let go. Oh. Uh, oh, there's a lot of blood there. Oh. Okay, as I told you guys, there may be blood. There you have it. That is a pretty good suction, teeth grinding the skin, tongue rasping away, almost like a razor sharp cheese grater. And you can see the battle wound there. A Little bit of blood, not too bad. Oh, it actually feels good to actually have the fish off of my skin at this point. 
I think what I learned from that bite is that it ultimately determined once my blood got into its mouth that perhaps this isn't a fish. This isn't something that I'm going to feast upon. But because they have the nickname oh, Vampire Fish, I think we need to go through with the third and ultimate suction. And we all know that vampire bite onto necks, which means that our next lamprey is going to take a good chomp right out of my neck. Lots of blood flow right there, really soft skin. <sighs> I know you guys want to see what's going to happen. I think I'm ready. Dr. Aldeboa, find us an extra hungry sea lamprey. The buffet line just became an all you can eat buffet line. Let's place one on my neck. This is not easy, not easy to let these things adhere onto you. Pick me a real good, solid, slimy sucker, All right, Mario. Got a good one. Oh, ho, ho, ho. he this looks guy's hungry. Ready. Okay, right okay, up here. Ready? Oh, there you go. Ah! Okay. Oh! Hang on to it. Okay, I got it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that is a good, good suction right there. Oh, let go. Is it oh, for another spot? Ah! <laughs> oh, that is way more painful than the arm or the stomach. Oh! Ah! Okay. You good? Yeah, he's ah suctioned on really good. I can feel that twisting sensation. Teeth grappling into place. Man, I feel like that's right on, right on a solid flow of blood right there. Oh, the vampire fish is truly living up to its name at this point. Ah! I'm gonna try to let it suction on for a full 60 seconds. twist is incredibly painful. Those needle sharp cone shaped teeth digging in. Close to 150 teeth in that mouth, remember. Oh yeah, no, I can feel the tongue grinding up against my skin. Oh, 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 oh. oh that makes my whole body squirm. Oh, that's incredible. Ah. Mm. You're doing good. How am I doing? Just relax. Oh. Okay, I let go. Ah, oh, no, no, it went for another bite. It went for another bite. Oh, yeah, he's got me good. You can feel every bit of those teeth grinding into the skin. Ah, ah, oh, wow. Yep, no, the tongue is definitely going to work. It is trying to figure out, is this something that I can eat? Oh, my goodness. Oh, that is about the most uncomfortable feeling I've felt in quite some time. Oh. <laughs> it's really latched on. Maybe, maybe. Oh! Oh! Ah! 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 Oh! Ah! No, no, don't tug at it. Ooh! Ah! Oh! You want him off? Ah! Uh, this is my there. I want to make sure we get to the full 60 seconds. They don't call these things vampire fish for nothing, folks. Oh! There we go. Oh! That's a good one. Hey, don't get on me. Is there blood? Yep. I promise you guys there would be some blood. A lot of blood flows through your neck. And that sea lamprey was definitely locked in place. My goodness. Oh man, it makes me lightheaded. Just to think about my blood and bodily fluids being sucked up by the vampire fish. Okay, so here's what I was able to determine at this point. Those teeth are sharp and that raspy tongue, yeah, it's like a cheese grater going at your skin. But in the end, I feel like every time the blood came to the surface and they got the taste of human in their mouths, they let go and said, you know what? This isn't a fish. This isn't what I naturally feast upon. So if you head out into the Great Lakes for a swim, I would definitely say you have no fear of being suctioned to, let alone being eaten alive by sea lamprey. Now, if you're a fish swimming around out there in the lakes, this is without question your worst nightmare. So the ongoing control efforts to keep the population of sea lamprey in check are incredibly important. Without this work being done, the lamprey will be decimating the fish populations. But again, like I said, when it comes to humans, if you're heading out into the lake for a swim, you have absolutely nothing to fear. I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave. 
stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. I've got a few more in here that uh, probably could use a feed. Uh, I'm probably good. Camera guy? Yeah, go ahead, bring me one you over. Want one? Around the world, invasive species have detrimental effects on ecosystems. But no species has been more destructive to Great Lakes fish than sea lamprey. The fishery in these bodies of water was nearly destroyed, yet the ongoing effort to control these invaders, led by the Great Lakes Fishery Commission, has been one of the most successful programs of its type in history. So while millions upon millions of eggs are laid each year, the life cycle has been identified and most importantly, intercepted. Thanks to the combination of environmentally safe lamprosides, strategic river barriers, mass trappings, and pheromone and alarm cue experimentation that may alter the course of spawning, the invasive sea lamprey population has been reduced nearly 90% in the Great Lakes. Now that is a success story. Sea lamprey control is an investment into the health of the environment. If you would like to learn more or have the desire to join the fight against sea lamprey, contact the Great Lakes Fishery Commission and help keep our freshwater systems free of blood-sucking aliens. Hey Coyote Pack, if you think being eaten alive by lamprey was intense, stay tuned as I set the dinner table for a tank full of piranha. And if you can't wait, join memberships right now and be the first to see what happens. Oh boy.